Cruise ships are getting cleaner and greener. The International Maritime Organization, or IMO, has set a target of 50% reduction in emissions by 2050. And the long-term goal is to reduce emissions to zero. The problem is tied to some of the largest cruise ships in the world. They can burn nearly 100,000 gallons of fuel a day. Environmentalists argue they generate the same amount of sulfur dioxide as 5 million cars. And they're also concerned about damage to natural resources, especially when ships sail into places such as Antarctica and the Arctic. Concern is rising in port cities too. Venice now bans some large ships also. That's partly due to air pollution and partly due to a fear of the impact to the ancient architecture from massive water displacement. But cruise lines are making progress. Perhaps the biggest step is the introduction of ships powered by liquefied natural gas. Carnival Corp's Ada Nova was the first fully LNG-powered ship launched just a few months ago. Its CO2 emissions are 25% less than traditional diesel fuel ships. And the cruise lines are also speeding up recycling, making an effort to reduce waste by minimizing the use of plastic bottles and straws, as well as saving water by reclaiming AC condensation. It will take years to make significant progress on CO2 emissions, but many LNG ships are under construction. The cruise lines know that while their customers want a great experience, they'll feel a lot better about it knowing they did no harm to the environment.